Hi everyone, my name is Audrey and welcome to my channel. Today I'm giving you a new weekly reading vlog. It is Monday evening and I'm starting this vlog uh, very late. It's past 11, way past my bedtime, but I did uh, want to finish the other vlog and I did promise a, a B-roll of me cleaning up my art supplies, which I did and just finished. So yeah, I'm starting this vlog now. I probably won't have much sleep tonight. I do want to try and get up early tomorrow morning because I do... Uh, want to film now that I have my new computer all set up I do want to try and film my either my bullet journal or my sitting down part uh, video I don't know which one yet but we'll see but I don't think I want ha I will have time to do much tomorrow after um, I'm done with my day at school I do need to get to my other school because there's a staff meeting I need to get to and then when I'm done with that I'm gonna come back home won't have time to eat and then uh, I'll just run back um, and I'll pick up my husband and my son and we need to go to our uh, chiropractor's appointment so it's gonna be a lot of running around and we won't be back home until kind of late so I don't, I'm not very optimistic that um, we're go I'm going to have time to finish filming anything at all, uh, especially that it's already late. So probably not going to be up very early and so on and so forth. Anyways, we'll see how that goes, but I'm probably not going to be doing much tomorrow. For now, I just want to catch up on as much editing as possible. So We'll see what kind of routine I give myself. And since my uh, workshop is now in my bedroom, uh, I don't want to wake up my husband while editing and stuff like that. So we'll see. Uh, I don't know yet what my routine will be, what it will look like, but I'll try a couple of different things and see what uh, suits me best. I'm finishing my coffee and then I was also reading some more of A Stranger Dreamer, which I do want to finish, hopefully part three, so that I can um, move on to part four soon and finish this one as, as fast as possible because I am at least two books behind, which is not fun. That's not good. Um, and we're already the 20th of the month. So lots of reading to do, lots of editing to do. Other than that, I do want to finish like most of the books that are ongoing right now. So after Strange the Dreamer, I'm probably going to make some progress in Slay and then uh, some progress into the Kingdom of Copper because I do want to finish that book. I was enjoying it a lot and it's one of my favorite books. So uh, yeah, I do want to finish that one and then we'll see which one I pick up, but probably uh, going to pick up. A Song of Rates and Ruins so that I can uh, get to the second book and last one of the uh, duology. So that's the plan, but we'll see how what I actually managed to read one day at a time. Okay, that was rude. I'm sorry. It just cut me off as I was saying, like, see you in the next clip uh, because I ran out of space. So all that for a couple of seconds missing. But anyways, sorry about that. But that's it. Uh, I'll see you in the next clip. Hey everyone. So just a quick update before I leave for work. Uh, I have been struggling quite a bit uh, this week. It was a tough week um, overall, mostly at work, which is rare. I mean, yes, it's it does take a lot of energy to teach, but um, 
yeah, no, uh, this was something else. So yeah, it was tough, uh, especially emotionally. And um, yeah, I've been struggling to do everything else because of that. I'm just so tired. I fall asleep very, very easy and I find it very hard uh, for me to get up in the morning. So yeah, but I do have some good news. I did figure out how to fix the problem I had with my uh, video editing my colors because for some reason, Filming with my new iPhone, it's been very hard to edit because because the colors wouldn't come out on my editing software, which is uh, Premiere Pro. It wouldn't come out as the same as when I export the video. And, and even in Premiere Pro, it was overexposed. And when I exported the video, it was like very overblown very white you couldn't see anything very saturated um it, it made no sense at all so after like three tries i think of different things i finally found the issue which is mostly like an issue of the formats of the video of how it's filmed with the iphone if that makes sense and i was suspecting that would be the uh problem but uh before some of the latest updates premiere pro did automatically uh, take in charge those things and like automatically convert those files correctly and now they don't so you have to do it uh, by hand which I didn't know and I wasn't aware of so kind of annoying <laughs> for that uh, but I found it and I think it's not exactly perfect it's not exactly like I want it to be uh, because there's it's I find that the exported video is a tiny bit off, tiny bit, like not exactly the same. So, but it's way better than it was before. And at least I know I can just work with that now um, compared to how it was before. So yeah, I'm really honestly very happy with that. So I'm going to upload it uh, quickly before I leave uh, for work. And then I also need to revisit like my whole schedule because I used to edit very early in the morning because that's the only time where my husband's computer was available and uh, now that I have my own computer to edit uh, I can pretty much do whatever I want when I want also which is a game changer editing on this computer it was worth the five thousand dollars like tenfold so much worth it it used to take me on my husband's computer it took me like it took me up to an hour and a half two hours to export a 45 minute video which are usually my vlogs um maybe an hour for a 25 minute video for my wrap-ups and my tbrs and in order to export and in order to export like that i had to render all of the effects and that took me the same amount of time so another hour to just render plus the other hour to export afterwards and once you render your effects it's supposed to export quicker now i don't even need to render anything because uh the specs in this computer was it, they're way higher and better um and it's made for and it's a machine that was actually made for um, editing videos and stuff. So yeah, it took me a total of four minutes to export a 25 minute video. Game changer, what is happening? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a liking of this. I'm gonna get used to this very very fast. Uh, so yeah, that's that's fun. That's the fun part. Uh, so I'm happy with that. It does still take me uh, a while to edit everything out, uh, but it's not too bad because I uh, have been editing way faster than I used to and I don't do fancy uh, editing. I'm not interested in that and uh, honestly I just want um, everything to run smoothly. I don't do like fancy stuff. And it's fine. I'm, I'm really fine with that. I just want my content to get out and be presentable. So yeah. So reading wise, I did read a chapter and a half this morning of Slay, but I didn't make much progress. 
Uh, other than that, I've been having a hard time uh, to read, to sit down and read. Um, I'm trying to balance out like editing now and reading and I do have some school stuff to do uh, for my online classes. So trying to figure out uh, how to do everything in that. I'll see. I, I might, since I'm very, very tired in the evening, I might I just switch things over and um, edit during the evening and read in the morning when I have the energy and I less likely to fall asleep on my books so yeah because yesterday I was falling asleep on my chair I woke up in my chair like sitting in my chair like this with my eyes closed so yeah it might be a good <laughs> option for me uh, I'm gonna try stuff and figure out something that will work um, so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling get to my video uh, and try to upload it quickly and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Hey everyone, so it's now Monday evening. Uh, I didn't get up <laughs> this morning, so I didn't uh, close this vlog, but here I am uh, to do exactly so. Today was hectic, chaotic as the last three Mondays were. It's intense. Uh, I slept way too much during the weekend. Um, I was hoping it to film, to do a little bit of some B-rolls um, and get to work, get to do some accounting stuff, get to do my accounting exam, read, um, and a whole other bunch of stuff. But I didn't uh, because I slept and I slept way too much. I don't know what happened, especially on Sunday. I mean, I understand that on Saturdays I do uh, sleep a lot because I almost do like double shift kind of uh since i work during the day and then the night shift that follows so i understand that my saturdays uh, i'm very very tired but on sunday i just overslept and kept on sleeping and had a very hard time to get up and this morning as well i woke up with my alarm but i just couldn't seem to uh get up at all I tried to read in my bed, but then fall, fell back asleep. So yeah, it was not very successful. But anyways, here we are. I haven't edited uh, any more videos. So I'm probably going to do uh, my wrap up tomorrow morning and go on uh, during the rest of the week with my vlog videos. I am going to have to refilm a new TBR because it's almost April now. Um, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it before but it uh, my end of the month reading rush challenge started on Saturday which means um yeah I had to count how many pages I was going to do I didn't publicly announce this one and uh, honestly it's fine I have like so much going on right now in my head and I'm trying to get everything in order and try to pick out and do stuff that is a priority even even if everything is a priority in my head but like whatever anyways um i ended up counting the pages i wanted to read before the end of the month which uh i'm pr i'm trying to prioritize um kingdom of copper which i already started uh months ago but still that i want to finish a slay that i already started and want to finish a song of rates and ruin um Aristotle and Dante because it is my buzzword book for this month and finish Strange the Dreamer. For all of those five books uh, I needed, well I need, I still need to, um, but it's not very successful, uh, to read 271 pages per day in order to achieve all of that and I can already tell you that I did not achieve that so far. Yesterday I didn't read that much uh, and today I haven't read at all so and if I add to that uh, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet uh, which was on my TBR Epsom of Storms and Silence that was also on my TBR and which is steeped in gold I needed to read 483 pages per day there's no way I'm getting to that especially if I'm working so yeah no but I am going to be uh, reading after I'm filming this, which is gonna be fine. Uh, I should be able to finish Slay tonight. And I finished 
uh, Strange the Dreamer on Saturday. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, I'll have to check that. But I did finish it. Um, five stars again, as always. I was a little bit confused at one point because I thought that... Um, I don't want to spoil the book. So if you haven't read it and don't want to be spoiled, you can uh, skip along, skip ahead a bit. But um, yeah, I thought that the dream parts between Sarai and Strange were a little bit, and Laszlo were a little bit longer. That, um, and at some point I felt like, I don't know, it, it was very, not quick, but I felt I remembered that they were in dreams together for many more times before everything kind of went down. But then as I was reading it, I understood a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, I'm not <laughs> making that complaint, but I can understand how people can find this book very slow because it is very character driven and very flowery and not for everyone for sure, but uh, still one of my favorite still love this character so much so so much well character is not only strange to dream not only lost little bit so gray and divided on like what's the right thing to do and like divided between wanting to build something new and sticking to revenge and uh, it's just so good it's so good love it love it so another five stars. And I did make some good progress in Slay. I'm over halfway through and I'm really enjoying it. It's just, I'm having a hard time uh, going through it. Not because it's bad, not at all, but the microaggression in this are so intense and it keeps getting, pulling me out of the book a lot because I get so frustrated by reading it. I thought at first when I started the book, I was like, I was thinking that it was fun for once to read something that wasn't like a big trauma experience, which like, I'm, I'm not saying it's not a good thing. I do read those as well, but uh, I haven't read like the lighter ones. So, but I haven't quite read something like this one, like this book yet. So I, I love that it was, it wasn't like this big trauma story and but it ends up that like having so many microaggressions is so frustrating i am very frustrated for our main character it really gets me mad and it pulls me out of the book a lot so it's not that fast a read as i thought it would be but it's fine like i'm enjoying it for what it is i enjoy what the book is trying to do I really appreciate that, but it's so frustrating. So yeah, <laughs> I love that there's multiple POVs that we do follow our main character, the uh, game inventor, but we also follow POVs of certain game players, which is very interesting, uh, which I love. I love that there's this debate. I love the discussion that it brings, I really do. It feels very 2019 pre-pandemic, but still very authentic and very accurate still to still in 2023. So I still really recommend that book. So far, I really uh, enjoy the book. I'm not an own voice, obviously, so like don't take my word for it. I do feel like like the characters are real teenagers and not adults trying to be portrayed as teenagers they really feel like teens and I really feel that like this situation is a very accurate one and authentic enough that it would happen it could happen exactly this way in real life that's my feeling of it obviously I'm not on voice so like don't take my word for it but um that's how I feel it is um and I do enjoy it for that so yeah, can't wait to finish it. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see how it's going to turn out, uh, where it's going to go with uh, everything. So that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, 
I'm gonna try to do better in the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe if you wish. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!